right, guys, you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for this. We're going to do the first time ever rectangular fog lights, LEDs, super bright. Keep watching. <laughs> here so you can see uh, I went ahead and took it all off it's just easier to do that and what I did before I took them off I looked and seen the center point of the lights and marked it on this side so that these will sit like right in the center so make sure you do that before you go pulling all this off now, as you can see, they, they are going to lay flush just like that. So what I did was drew just the inside part here on both sides so I can cut that out. And all you'll see is just the light part. And as you can see here, they mount just about perfect. And they're almost sitting in the middle of this whole piece here. They're just a little bit lower. Which, I mean, we probably could put some spacers in here and like bring it up to where it sit exactly in the middle. But I, I think I'll just roll with it like that. And then, like I said, we're going to have the harnesses that hook straight to with a splitter to the headlights. So, that is it right there. We'll get these holes cut out. And uh, I'll show you all these. Look, they're, they're like a, you know, a light bar on a Jeep or off-roading truck. Same concept. So, they're really strong, waterproof, LED with the projector lenses. And man, do they put out some light because I already test run them already. And then with these brackets on the side, um, I'll be able to kind of tweak it just a little bit like, like this to kind of get the up and down after we get them all installed here. So let me get to cutting these holes out. And we'll get right to it. All right, guys, today is another day. We're going to get back on this. You can see, we got the front end all tore apart here just to get done what we need to get done. Well, let's get these fog light holes cut out here. And then see how she looks.
guess. So we got the holes cut out here. Now what I'm going to do, I have some of this uh, little light door jam seal stuff laying around. And I'm going to put it like around the top and the bottom just to kind of give it a little cleaner look. But uh, yeah, here's what we're going with. So we got the uh, front end back together here with the fogs. Now I wanted to show y'all here with this splitter. Basically what you do, this is the factory harness coming from the truck. And then one of them goes straight to the headlights. And then you do the other splitter straight to your fog light. And it's basically plug and play same thing over here so whenever you turn your headlights on of course the fog lights will come on with it that'll save you from having to run extra switches man I think these fog lights are looking pretty good Definitely have to see how it looks at night. guys so if you made it this far thanks for watching thanks for tuning in now as you can see in that video there I wanted to stray away from the 454 SS fog lights and kind of give it more of you know just a rectangular looking light like the headlights are you know, because you got rectangular, rectangular, and then the SS go to, like, square. To me, it always looked unproportional. So I wanted to try something a little bit different. I found those LED, uh, basically, um, they're light bars, just a mini one. It's, like, six, six inches long, um... So yeah, I, I basically wanted to center it in that spooler at the bottom. Or not spooler, but the little uh, ground effect uh, chin piece there that's factory. So I wanted to try to center it and the brackets that came with it pretty much almost got it to the right heights. Now if you wanted to get it a little bit more center, you could probably just like shim it up with some washers or whatever. Um, but yeah, I basically just drew the outsides, drilled my holes to get going to cut. Now I was going to try to use like a little hand saw and try to cut it nice and straight, but that's some hard material. So I just ended up using my 90 degree with the cutter cutting wheel, 
Um, and then, you know, to try to get in there to clean up all the edges, um, to get the right tool in there, is definitely need a couple of different tools with that. And a file, I mean, that plastic's pretty tough. The file almost take you forever to sit there and file it clean. But, um, you know how you have the, the seals that go around like the edge of your door so when you swing it open, it doesn't chip up your paint? Well, I had some of that laying around and I was like, well, I want to try to clean up the edge look a little bit. So I added some of that. Now, first I went all the way around it, but I didn't like the way it looked. It kind of looked cheesy. Uh, it really needs like a bezel to go sliding in there to, you know, like go all the way around. So maybe later on I might try to make me a bezel to go in there. But I just went with the seal on the upper and lower just to kind of fill in a little bit of the gap where the light sets. Um, now you can see there more towards the end of the video where I showed the lights on and all that. Now, I didn't get a chance to film it at night because we had a big thunderstorm come in and I wasn't pulling my truck outside in that mess because I just now got all that truck almost cleaned up. So, um, also, uh, I kind of cut the video short because there's other parts of the video that it was in the making that you'll have to see in the next video and then we'll show more of the fog lights running and all that. Um, but also as well, the uh, wire harness splitter that I made um, you basically plug it into your headlight and it has two splitters. Um, one you plug into your fog lights, the other one you plug into your headlights. So that way um, when you turn your switch on the fog lights will come on with the headlights and I mainly just did it because I don't want to try to run a separate switch. I don't want to run separate wiring. I don't want to cut into my wiring, all that stuff. So this is just a plug and play deal. But I'll leave everything that I bought down in um, the description box below. So if y'all want to try to pick some of this stuff up. Uh, so far I haven't got to check it out and test it at night yet. I'll probably tell y'all about that in another upload. So stay tuned for that. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching the video all the way through if you made it this far. And don't forget to hit the bell icon if you want to know when I upload because it might be random. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. And until next time, keep it simple, keep it sweet.